We're going to try this Dark Souls-like game, and if it sucks, we're just going to go to Dark Souls. Yeah, we are both <laughs> fans of Dark Souls. Yes. Uh, Tom is playing this one. Yo. And my name is Jack, and Tom is... And I'm Tom. And he's playing it, yes, because uh, I think I played a little bit of it, but... Uh... Uh, ah! Okay. Start a new game. Yeah. Oh. I don't think it... Is it over right? No, okay. Yeah, you can see I got to level 13 on... You played for, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> last played, zero zero twenty. No, last... Yeah, last play. Yeah, I played for 20 minutes. Okay, that's probably about how much I played for. Um... This already confuses me, and I already played some of this. Okay. Brawling deception. So what color do you want? <laughs> you know me, I'm not good with... No, this one has a fist on it. I like being punchy yeah. people. Be the guy with the hammer. A cleric? Sure. He's a cleric with a big ass hammer? Yeah. What? The warrior's got the sword. Right. Be the cleric. Yeah, oh, alright. Why the fuck not? Punch cleric. Are you trying to talk about Jesus? Or I will smash you with this fucking 70 pound hammer? You could close the door, but I'm gonna break it down. Yeah. And then you'll just have to pay for it because I'm leaving <laughs> afterwards. Alright, let's talk about what's on your phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's George just, Costanza it's with the, a baseball bat. The picture of George Costanza with the baseball bat is my lock screen. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've been watching a lot of Seinfeld recently. They have yeah. all of it on Hulu, and I can't stop. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they actually got your dude in the cutscene with the hammer. Okay. No, but you see, you do no. But if you start as the warrior guy, he's like that too. He's like that too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I guess you picked the proper class then. Because it seems like no matter what, you, like this this beginning cutscene is. I guess they're showing all the classes. Nonsense. You mean? Yeah. Is this the other class? Yeah, because that's like the warrior that okay. we had before, right? I guess. Oh well. Oh, okay. So he was a warrior, and then he found this hammer, and then grabbed the hammer. But that it? looks like the first. I don't know. It's that seems confusing. I mean, that's why Dark Souls didn't do much story. They let you figure it out yourself. Yeah. Yeah, there's like people to talk to in this game. I am Thor, son of Odin. <laughs> Cross giant. And squad. And squad. <laughs> Are they uh, hard light copies or are they just. They're after images with masks. Yeah, they're after images. F91s. I think they're also called hard light copies because they can actually hurt you. Right? I don't know. I don't know. What what was that from? I don't know. I could have just made it up. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't sound like something I would make up. Though. No, in Gundam, in Gundam F91, they had the. The robot is using like its overcharge thing, and it's so hot that it's tearing off layers of its metal, and it's leaving after image behind because it's going so fast. I know hard light is. Uh, is that hard light copy? I mean, just threw two things I need to get. Well, hard light is like that thing in oh, video game was that? Halo. Halo. Oh yeah. Yeah hard yeah. Hard light shield. What uh. No, but he's clearly using spooky wizard magic. Now you can, can are you a parry master? Can you parry? Oh god no. Oh, no you can parry in backstab. Game. Backstab all day every day. Good. It's not worth it to parry. I mean it's cool, but fuck that. Where'd his helmet go and face thing? I don't think he knows. Are you controlling this? No. Okay. Let's get to and then you got this old ass man with you. It's quiet. Too quiet. He either has a broken arm or a stomach virus. Hold on. Or he's just like an old dude. <laughs> Flare out. I cast dancing lights. Like the only spell that a bard has that's useful. Really? This guy. Get him. Now, okay. Get him. 
you to focus. First rule of combat okay. is to focus. Is that just the blocking? Second rule of combat is not die. Okay. Time. Okay, press the button again to hit again. Evasion. Strikes. Heavy strikes were simultaneously. Left. Let me tell you. This control scheme is just Dark Skull. Dark, Dark skulls. skulls? Dark Skulls, yeah. That's the other ripoff of it. Dark Skulls. Dark Skulls. Dark Skulls. Dark Skull Girls. I play that game. Dark Souls fighting game? On the Skull Girls end? Uh, Dark Souls board game? Please tell me you know about that, right? No. Oh my god. Just placing enemies to fuck your I don't know. I don't know anything about it other than the fact that it hit Kickstarter and ten minutes later it was funded. <laughs> Like, that's what happened. Like, apparently it made, like, something like seven times what it asked for, because people were like, yes. You can two-hand weapons, just like in Dark Souls. Alright. Yeah. Dark Souls board game hit uh, Kickstarter and then was, like, instantly funded. Was it, like, by... I'll look it up, since I'm not playing. Like the FromSoft people? Right. It had to be someone licensed. It's, it's, it's like an official Dark Souls board game. Because if they're going to make a Dark Souls board game, if FromSoft is going to license out anything in a board game form, I want it to be Armored Core. <laughs> Um, I really want the next, like, because I said the next, uh, Steam Souls Forge game Games is what it was, uh, my skull. uh, what you call that? The bones are moving. Steam Forge Games. Growing. Uh, I think they wanted, like, 50,000 or something to make it. It's not a lot. And, uh, I don't know. I need that name. Eyesight goes first, then follows sanity. Brother William, brother Peter okay. and I Hold on, I can find it. Take oh. us. This guy's just talking. Oh. Okay. Tabletop game maker Steam Forge Games launched a Kickstarter campaign for Dark Souls, the board game today. Promising a tabletop experience that's faithful from From Sauce action RPG franchise. Steam Forge quickly met its fran uh, fundraising goal. In fact, it took just three minutes. <laughs> Uh, for the campaign to reach the... Is that pounds? I can't tell. It's like a squiggly E. What is that? I can't tell. It's, a, it's like a squiggly, squiggly E. See it? It's in like... Oh yeah, that's pounds. Okay. Uh, uh, more than 2,500 backers have since contributed to the campaign, blowing past Steamford's list of stretch goals. So it's an officially licensed thing, so it should be good. Oh, okay. Plus Dark Souls is perfect for this board game. It seems like it would be. Um, but, uh... Uh, but did you hear that the next Souls-type game that FromSoft wants to I thought they weren't making out, one. I thought they weren't... They, I think the next thing that they kind of want to do is sci-fi. Oh, hope, God. I just hope it's more Armored Core. Yeah, armored Core Souls? The armored Core Armored Souls. souls. If they you played Armored Core armored before, souls. it was pretty... I beg you, be careful. High-speed robot action. I don't know. I'm not. I can't remember what the exchange rate for pounds and. Uh, is that the backstab? Whatever happens. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that was cool. Um, I can't remember what the back. Uh, like what the, for every uh, for every pound, it's like well, at least like a dollar three or something like that, or no, like reversed. Two dollars for every is it really? pound. Yeah. Oh my god, that's scary because guess how much it raised. How much? Three million pounds, almost four million. Jesus. It only asked for fifty thousand pounds. We're getting that game, right? Oh, the the board game? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah! Thirty-one thousand backers raised three million seven hundred seventy-one thousand four hundred seventy-four pounds. Heartfelt thank you for everybody at Steam Forge. We thoroughly enjoyed this campaign. And it says read more. Challenges. Okay. Oh hi. Whoops. Okay, apparently it... Uh... Ah, that, that's cool. Uh, it says a final thank you if we have unlocked the final stretch goal of 4 million. These will be added free for your... 
for your pledges. And the next thing is Praise the Sun, and it's got the little emote for it. But what's going on, Tom? Because uh, I don't understand this. So, game. I've just, while we've been looking that up, I've just been like, kind of just rinsing my way through these guys. Yeah, a bunch of XP, which is already different than Dark Souls. So, yeah, that's what it tries to do differently, is that, like, you're, you so actually gain normal, XP. Like a normal uh, RPG. Well, yes and no. I mean, not normal, but a standard. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not leveling up once I gather enough at XP. You're just leveling up with the XP, right? Yeah, it's like once I get to a checkpoint, I can use that XP. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it yeah, is kind of like Dark Souls. Yeah, a little bit. And, like, yeah, this is my loadout. I don't like when they do the circle thing. The it confuses the shit out of me. Radial menu kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, like when it's like, like, oh, this is all the shit you can have. What, Diablo did that too, right? Uh, no. I guess it did, but it, for some reason it wasn't as bad. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I just actually took time to care and figure that out. I don't know. I tried to play... I played it for a little bit on the uh, consoles. I went back to PC because I just find it... That's the easiest way to play that game. Diablo? Yeah. Oh, Diablo's amazing on console, though. Hmm. What are you waiting for? Did you play it on the 360 the or the Xbox One? I played one? it on the Xbox One. So you played the, uh, the, 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 the complete edition, I guess I would call it. Mm -hmm. Reaper Souls. I don't know. That was... It's a really good port or whatever you want to call it. So I talked to that dude. Okay. For being a game that's meant to be played on PC, it plays phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. waiting for I just open like the door. from playing a lot of Diablo 2, it just feels right oh, yeah. to just. You're also more shit. of a PC yeah. person. I think this is the boss fight that I did, and then I was like, eh, I'll play this later. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, basically I was locked out of the room and then I went down into the basement and got that key. Okay. You have a big ass hammer. You when did I bash. when did I put on that mask? I don't know. Maybe it's a uh, boss fight in time, so he puts it on. Like beautiful Joe. Like uh Hench the go go, baby. Like when uh Wow oh that frame rate. I don't my know frame rate. Like that. Oh he exploded my frame rate. But um like when Lino says no more shit, he goes Thundercats. Thunder, 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 and a dagger becomes a big ass sword. Right. Now I was gonna say, do you remember Beautiful Joe for the GameCube? Whenever the boss fight would come, his like mask would have its glasses go over, and a little thing with mouth guard would come on. That's a game I wish I had on the GameCube. I don't have that. Mm. Ah. I do have uh, the Wonderful 101, which is awesome. That is from the makers of Beautiful Joe. Exactly. Latin games. Well, I guess they were Clover Studios when. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know Beautiful Joe was made by that for a while. Because mm -hmm. the last, first time I heard Platinum Games was Bayonetta. Yes. Was that like the first like project they did when they were changed their name or whatever? Um, oh god, I think it was actually. And how was it? Was good. I'm happy I got the uh, the Bayonetta two copy for the Wii U that has uh, that has the Bayonetta first one in it. Because I've never I never played one. Oh. Fuck you, dude. I went out into the wild and found that shit. I went to a GameStop and was like, hey, $40 for that? Yeah, please. And then, like, three months later, they were like, oh, we're re releasing it, and it only has the second game. And I was like, haha. Like, what was it? Um, His armor broke. There was a game uh, for the Wii U that came out called Rodea the si Sky Soldier. It came out with a Wii U version and a um, and the Wii version on it. Yeah. And the Wii, the Wii version is the way to play that game. Like, the creator came out and said, Yo, the, the game is releasing with the Wii version and the Wii U version. You should play the Wii version. Oh, okay, so they, so, so it was backwards to what I was thinking then. So it was like, we made it for both consoles, but we kind of focused, the, the Wii U version was like a second thought? No, it was like halfway into the development, the oh, Wii U came about to out. Die. Roll away. Uh, Dark Souls I'll bullshit. be fine. MBD. So they were making it for the Wii, and then they were like, oh, Wii U's coming out, maybe we should make it for the Wii. Yeah. Okay. That's cool, though. Because you could probably play that on the Wii U, right? Yeah. You can play yeah, Wii yeah, games. Yeah, you can play Wii games. I've never Wii. tried it, but I know there's an option for, like, the Wii. The only game. one I've done on there is Punch-Out. Oh, there you go. Punch-Out for the Wii is amazing. 
I think because it's just punch out. I think the only thing that I would probably try is uh, Wii Sports because I love the bowling and the. Uh, um, yeah. I like throwing the ball backwards and Wii bowling. <laughs> yeah. You need, bro. You need a you need a shield that blocks 100% physical or 100% fire, whatever he's dealing. To take a chip damage. Yeah, the one the one shield I have isn't yeah. good enough. Exactly. Oh fuck you! Don't you love Doesn't his do any damage, but... Take his shield. You want his shield and his 